Welcome to sixth grade. We want to first talk to you about shifting from elementary to middle school. It is a transition that we look forward to working with your students. One of the major changes is we want to help students become self advocates for them to reach out when they've got questions, email their teachers, ask through the It's Learning platform. We ask that students use a paper agenda daily to record down assignments and due dates. Teachers will be stopping class and asking students to record down information. If you don't see it written down in their agenda, please ask your student why. Students will be working in small groups to collaborate and problem solve. Students should utilize class time to complete work. Unfinished work does become homework. The supply list is located on our STEM homepage. Teachers will be modeling how to use all technology. It's Learning is the digital platform to retrieve and turn in assignments. Students and parents are encouraged to check PowerSchool frequently for updated grades. Students will run through their daily schedule and attend Zoom classes. Zoom links will be posted in It's Learning. This year, students will work on a grand challenge for providing access to clean water. The grand challenge is a year-long culminating project that students collaborate on in all of their classes. This year, you'll begin a unique journey that will carry you through three years of exciting math. In the sixth grade, you will cover all of the sixth grade and half of the seventh. In your seventh grade year, you'll do the other half of the seventh grade curriculum and the entire eighth grade curriculum. That will put you in a position in the eighth grade year to actually do a ninth grade class, Algebra One, and you'll have a high school credit upon departing uh, the eighth grade. The Accelerated Math Mathematics Six Seventh A includes unit one which is exploring rational numbers it's um, the number system fluency rational explorations um, unit two includes rate ratio and proportions unit three includes expressions one-step equations and inequalities um, as well as expressions and other equations unit five includes measurements of area and volume and unit six includes um, data and statistics. Similar to math, um, this year in sixth grade ELA, you'll be covering all of the sixth grade standards and half of seventh grade standards. Um, we will be integrating reading and writing into our discovery and understanding of the world around us. This will be quick paced, but um, we will be here to guide you every step of the way. The two supplies that you need for the beginning of the school year is the book A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. And you will need one composition notebook and make sure you have that by August 24th. Throughout the year, we will also be taking math, math tests and our basic proficient and advanced for each grade level are listed on the screen. The best way to improve your math scores is to read, read, read. Writing is a focus not only in ELA, but across the board here at the STEM Academy. We do understand that writing is a process and we will be spending a great deal of time to develop. Students will be creating and engaging lead-ins, thesis statements, and compose organized pieces with textual evidence. Students are going to be using textual evidence to defend an argument and composing an effective thesis statement is going to be a major focus. Summer reading is due September 4th. Summer reading is an opportunity for students to gain a fundamental background about our grand challenge. Students will have an opportunity to work with teachers on their summer reading assignments prior to the due date in class. Students are also encouraged to ask questions regarding their summer reading in class with their specific teachers as well. We, uh, we're excited. We have a great year planned for social studies. We're going to 
have a lot of fun. Um, basically what we cover, uh, we're going to go to four different places in the world, four regions. We go to Europe, Latin America, Australia, and Canada. And for each of those regions, we talk about uh, four domains. We have geography, government, economics, and history. And there's a spoiler alert. We will talk about World War I and World War II. We're also going to go over the Holocaust and a little bit on African slavery. We have some awesome projects planned. It'll be great. Just a little bit more about social studies. We will not have a textbook for social studies. All the information will be provided on the It's Learning platform. You'll find more about that later. Um, students will also be required to build and maintain a virtual notebook with class assignments, activities, and notes. We will walk you through exactly how to do that in the first few days of school. It is a requirement. We'll talk more about that when we see you. All assessments will be announced at least a week in advance to allow time for studying. And I know that the supply list has the supplies, but these are the main things we're gonna be using. We are project-based, so you will be doing a lot of projects with us. You'll need paper of some sort, pencils, color pencils, crayons, or markers, scissors, and an iPad stand is helpful, but it is not a requirement. Can't wait to see you guys. Hi, um, this year in science, uh, you're gonna be working with your um, peers, you're gonna be working with us, you're gonna be developing your own models and labs and having a great time in science. Um, some of those topics that we are going to cover are gonna be your solar system um, and the universe. We're gonna look at earth, moon, and sun relationships. Um, and it's gonna cover like seasons and tides and stuff like that. Um, Earth's changing landscape, we're going to be looking at rocks, minerals, um, and how those are, or, and how the process is with changing that landscape, how they, how they go with that. Um, we have earth layers and plate tectonics, is it, they're not, that's another way that the earth changes its landscape. Um, Earth's water, we are going to talk about where it is, um, how it moves about, um, and all the different types of water. And that's where our grand challenge comes in. Uh, climate and weather, we're gonna talk about the atmosphere and what happens there. And then human impact is something that we're gonna cover throughout our time together. Hi. The supply list is listed on uh, in various places, but these are some things that you will need for um, your earth science class. You're going to need a composition notebook. Uh, that is a one subject notebook. No other, no math, no ELA, social studies notes go in this science notebook. You may need some paper that you'll be drawing on, some. Uh, clean paper, notebook paper. You will need pencils, highlighters, uh, color pencils, crayons, or markers. You will be needing a ruler for measurement because you will be building different models. You'll also be using glue and scissors. Earbuds are a great idea to have. Um, and also iPad stands are very helpful. Can't wait to see you guys. Research. Science inquiry is a part of our everyday lives. Our goal in research is helping students to turn questions and curiosity into observations, methodical exploration, discovery, and the acquisition of knowledge through critical thinking skills and problem solving. This year we'll be focusing on during semester one, the foundations of scientific inquiry the scientific method and experimental design by utilizing our coastal resources and estuarine water quality. During the second semester, part one, the engineering design process and design, design thinking process will be discussed through looking at renewable energy as it pertains to our coast and what renewable energy processes are most practical for our area. And then we will finish up semester two with access to clean water and the grand challenge. The materials you may need this year are definitely a composition notebook, sticky notes, pencils, 
highlighters are helpful, you will need a paper agenda, an iPad and charger, and internet access. We are looking forward to a great sixth grade year. Welcome sixth grade students.